Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. Um, I've got a beer from uh, Wild Horse Brewing Company, who are from North Wales. And it's a can of their off-season, and it is a hoppy red ale. And it's coming in at 5.3% ABV in a 440ml can. There's a little look at the artwork. The light is really shining off of that. But there's the artwork. Silver can, a little bit of a design on it. Nothing much to write home about. Um, yeah, this first beer I've had from Wild Horse Brewing Company. Um, so yeah, I know nothing about these guys really, other than that they're from North Wales. And uh, I can't think of too many red ales I've reviewed on the channel either. So this is kind of a first. A uh, little bit of flavour text on the back. It says, Shorter days and lengthening shadows herald quieter times and a chance to relax, reflect and take stock. Off season is a hoppy red ale combining uh, a complex caramel base with a blend of centennial, mosaic, and amarillo hops. And then the next line is all written in Welsh. So I ain't got a clue what that says. Unfiltered beer contains yeast. Um, yeah. Unit 4, K Rec. Can't read that. But so, a North Welsh brewery. So let's get this red ale out. We'll see if it's any good, shall we? Certainly has that red looking colour to it. Looks very nice, actually. Sort of a caramel, bready malt look to it. Give it a bit of a swirl. Last bit in there. see it so yeah there is this beer um, it's a really really odd color it looks a little bit like watery gravy with a head on it so yeah off season hoppy red ale from wild horse brewery odd looking color really is that is it's a light brown light brown really dark kind of orange colour to it, coppery almost looking colour to it, hazy as you like, a just slightly tanned, sort of half a finger of quite creamy looking head on it now, um, yeah it looks interesting, it really does look interesting, um, let's get an aroma on this red ale, I suppose quite nice. Slightly fruity. Sort of toffee aroma. Hops less savour in this one. Uh, Centennial, Mosaic and Amarillo. It's an interesting hop blend. It's a subtle kind of mango aroma. Mango and toffee is kind of what's jumping out at me. It's like a sweet toffee, almost toffeed apple, like, almost like a stewed apple. Bit of mango, bit of citrus. It's a really peculiar aroma. <sighs> yeah, uh, I'm not really, uh, not really familiar with red ales as such, so this is all quite new for me. But it was one I had to review because it was so different from anything else I could remember drinking or you know, looking at it. It's definitely not the sort of beer I'd pick up. That aroma is really interesting. I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers. That is really odd. There's a, it's almost like a New England character to it. It's slightly tropical. There's almost a very subtle kind of dankness to it. It's almost like overly ripe fruit. I'm 
mouth feels very soft really soft on the palate very very light very subtle carbonation I'm sure if you can make out there's a bit of carbonation tiniest bit rolling up to the head I'm not sure if you can make that out on the camera there is the slightest bit of carbonation on this but it's Toffee, toffee malt, a kind of biscuity malt bite to it. Nice bit of bitterness, almost like a citrusy bitterness at the back end. There's a bit of tropical fruit going on. It's it's really weird. It's a weird beer. quite a bitter finish to it that lingers but it's a sweet bitterness she's really testing my brain this one because it's a style I'm not very familiar with I'm kind of almost going back to square one here which is good keeps me on my toes it's got a bitter finish to it it's fruity it's bready there's definitely a toffee character to it You've always got that sort of classic English ale type bready malt, toffee, caramelly hit kind of mid palate. But it's blended with a subtle tropical, subtle citrus flavour from the hops. Which is really different. Very different. And that sort of tropical hit is actually quite strong. And you, you don't expect it to be because it, it, there's 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 a toffee, there's a maltiness to it. There's a maltiness that blends with that tropical fruit quite well. Um, it's, it's almost like one second you think it, it's really dank and it's really tropical, the overly ripe tropical fruit. And then just as you think that's taking over you then get that quite strong sort of toffee maltiness it's rich it's quite a rich tasting beer really is a lot going on with it really complex it's definitely subtle mango Mango, a bit of passion fruit maybe as well. But then there's toffee, there's sweet toffee, sort of sticky, sickly almost, kind of toffee sweetness. A bit of burnt caramel. And a citrusy kick to it. It's complex. It really is an odd one. Nice soft mouthfeel. Gentle carbonation. Tropical fruit. Toffee malt. And a nice lingering hoppy bitterness at the back end as well. It's, it's, it's alright. It's alright. I'm not sure I would rush out to buy it again. I don't think it's the sort of beer that is going to change my life and make me want to go and buy more, a lot more, you know, hoppy red ales. It's certainly hoppy. It's certainly red. Um, it's very complex. Really, really complex. There's a lot going on with this one. Uh, yeah, if you've not had... A beer like this before I recommend going and trying to find one and like I say this one is Wild Horse Brewing Company from North Wales give them a try um, this beer was kindly sent to me by a, a subscriber thank you um, he sent me a few beers I appreciate that uh, a lot of beers from his neck of the woods so I've, I've got some good stuff from them so I appreciate that 
Thank you, buddy. Um, this is a really interesting beer. I've never had anything like it. And um, I'm not sure I ever will again. It's really it's odd. Very complex. I've got to score it. Um, I like the complexity to it. I like the mouthfeel. Um, I'm just not sure it's a style that I'm going to want to go back to too often. Um, but it's certainly interesting. It's certainly interesting. I think I'm going to give this beer... I think I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten. It's a good beer. It's a very well-made beer. You can taste the quality on it. Um, but I just don't think it's, don't think it's quite my style. Uh, so I'm going to give it a six and a half. So a six and a half out of ten for Wild Horse Brewery's off-season Hoppy Red Ale. Six and a half out of ten. Um, has it got their website? It says wildhorsebrewing.co.uk is where you can find that one. Really complex beer. Really interesting. Go check that out. Wild Horse Brewing, off-season, hoppy red ale. It's a six and a half out of ten for that one. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.